What's up, everybody? My name is Shannon, and I am still waiting for my Seder, and today we are talking about Sherwood by Megan Spooner. So what we have here is a pretty straightforward retelling of the tale of Robin Hood. We have, you know, the big ar archery contest at the end. We've got the merry men. We've got the dynamics between Robin Hood and the sheriff, all of that kind of stuff that we all know and love, except Robin Hood is actually dead and who we believe to be Robin Hood has been made Marion the entire time. And this was a premise that I thought was really interesting. And I did like the way that the author played with that idea and especially kind of how it came to fruition at the end. But what I didn't like is that this book is very slow and I really didn't get into it at all until maybe the last 50 pages, which was just very, very frustrating. What kept getting to me is that this book was supposed to be about Marion. She assumed the role of Robin Hood, like she created the role of Robin Hood. Robin of Loxley was not Robin Hood before he went on the Crusades and died. No, like this has always been made Marion from the start in the context of this book. And yet she is always in the shadow of Robin. And I don't mean in that people think that she's Robin because that's what she wants people to think, but I mean in her own mind. And that is an interesting concept to play with. And that is something interesting for her to work through. But we couldn't go two pages without Marion talking about Robin, talking about how Robin was the one who taught her everything that she knows, talking about how much she loved Robin, this, that, and the other thing. And it's like, I get it, and it. I just wish that Marion could have stood on her own two feet. It just felt very much like, oh, well, I can only do this because Robin taught me how to do this. Did you know that Robin taught me how to do this? Did you know that Robin taught me how to shoot areas? Did you know this, that, and it just got so frustrating. And I also felt like she didn't get to spend enough time building meaningful connections with the other characters aside from maybe one or two of the merry men. And that's, again, Again, you know, I understand why she was making those particular connections, but I wish that she could have spent more time, you know, talking with her maid, like having another woman to talk to about this secret. I wish that we could have seen more of that relationship with her father, and I especially wish that we could have seen more of her relationship with the villain of the story, which was Sir Guy. And there was so much potential here for this really great, like, enemies to lovers, villain ship type of thing, and the author does not touch it at all all until the very end of the book like it really didn't feel like this book got going until the very end which like i said was just really frustrating and really really irritating so i am going to give this book a c minus because it's an okay book like it was a good read like i i think if i hadn't have read it i always would have been wondering about it so i am glad that i did and it's in no it's in no way a bad book it is very well written it's just frustrating because i feel like it could have been more like there could have been more emotion there there could have been more investment there and there just wasn't because i felt like we were focused too much on making this a straightforward retelling of robin hood we were too focused on you know marion pining after robin there just wasn't enough emotional investment in there for me, which is why I'm giving it the rating that it's giving it. But would I recommend it? Uh, I would say not really. It's not really worth it. But if you do like Robin Hood, you will probably also like the story. And I also like some of Megan Spooner's writing. So I was interested to see how she did this. And it, again, it kind of made me disappointed because the other books that I've read from her, the romance was pretty good. So that was a little bit strange. So would I recommend it? I don't really know. If you're curious about it at all, I would say go ahead and check it out. But it's not, it's definitely one that it's okay to miss. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe so you can talk books with me every week. That is everything I got for today and I will see you guys next time. Bye!